My name is Göran Johansson and I live in the southwest of Sweden and I'm a nature photographer and if you like what you have seen you can subscribe here. Today I'm going out, uh, the whole day I will uh, take with me my 180 to 600 and I will show you all the pictures from uh, this session. And in the end of the day I will uh, tell you a little bit about the comparison with the 200 to 500 and what I think about this. This morning I was just out here and taking photos of birds of prey and uh, yes they were there so I will show you the film and movies from this session this morning and now I will go to a famous place called Trönninge Engar it's a very big area for birds and I hope I can get some photos there after that I uh, suppose I will go to uh, Swedish town Falkenberg then I will go to Kjellstorp it's also a famous place it's a very big area of uh, th there will be birds and um, perhaps I can ta take some photos there also but anyway I have photos from here so I will show you and, and uh, compare it with this lens and if I have time I will also go to Munkagårdsfluen, it's also a famous place in Sweden and there we have dig down um, blind so you can photograph in the level of the water so it's very appreciated by the bird photographers but it's best there in spring so I hope there will be uh, birds and if I have time I will also go to to Varberg to Jetterön, Naturum in Jetterön and I think that is the most famous place except for Falsterbo, Skanö Falsterbo so join me in this day trip and as I said in the end of the movie I will show you pictures and film and I will also show you the settings I'm using and I can already now say that I'm surprised how well it performs. So, see you. I'm now going by car to Halmstad.
This is a young red kite and you can even hear another red kite whistling. Here we have a common buzzard and uh, here we can see how much I can zoom in to 600 mm. It's a twinning engine. And I drove to Munkagårdsfluen, but there was no bird this day, and it was too late to go to Jettervön. So here is my review. Now I will do a comparison with, between the 200 to 500 and the 800 to 600 lens from Nikon. The 200 to 500 was a working horse for me, and uh, I really like it. It was sharp enough for me, and uh, as, as I said, it's cheap, it's not so heavy, and uh, the problem I had with it was when I'm uh, filming, and I have it on a tripod, then the balance is changed when you zoom in, and the f it falls down. And if you have it there, and you go in, it fell back. So the balance of this wasn't so good, so therefore I do a lot of movies, I buy this one, 180 to 600. And here it's internal zoom, and it's not so big as you see, you, you don't have to, to move it so much as this one from 200 to 500, you see. I had to screw a lot more. It's a little bit uh, lighter, even if it's bigger. You can see the comparison here, but uh, I don't think that's matter because now you have uh, extend the f the lens to 100 from 180 to 600. So in the both end you have more to work with. I put this away, but I have found something that I don't like about this new one lens. It's this, the, the foot. When you wear it, it, it doesn't fit my hands, so I had to put a stripe on it and, uh, and wear it that way. So if you wear it longer distance, you will be uh, very. Uh, it, it's uh, it's not good for the hand. So 
Otherwise, it's a very good lens. It's sharp, extremely sharp, as you have seen from the pictures. It's faster than the old one with uh, the autofocus. And um, yes, I think that was all. You, you can't see, uh, there is no distance meter on it, but I don't use it anyway because I'm, uh, when I make movies I do it directly as I see it. So, I can recommend to buy this uh, because it's cheap, it's actually very sharp, it's fast autofocus. And I haven't found anything that I'm uh, not happy with, except for the foot. I want it bigger. I have asked Nikon about uh, the foot, and they have have just this one. But maybe soon there will be out any on the market. So that was all, and um, I must say thank you for listening and uh, follow me on this channel. And if you like what you have seen, you can subscribe here. Thank you for this time. Bye.